morning good morning welcome back to another predestined predestined kingdom ministries international videos i am kenithia j or kenithia johnson and so this movie i'm sorry this video is going to be referenced on a movie what is it called oh my god vows to god I'm, I'm gonna correct that when i put the title on this video um got this movie or well, i received this movie from watching encourage tv which i really don't watch watch tv guys i be i be watching all this stuff on the youtube app or um I've already seen these movies before and I'm just re-watching them from when I did used to watch TV years ago when I had a TV. So, <laughs> yeah. <no. laughs> I wouldn't watch my dad's TV, but I don't even have a TV. <laughs> All these movies I done saw or they're from YouTube. So, anyway. In this movie, this man had a loving, beautiful family. Oh, man. That was sad. That was sad. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Dear Father God, I pray only say what you want me to say and get off this camera. I pray your knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and revelation reaches the people or persons it is supposed to. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. And so, he had a beautiful, this man, it was, it was about a, a man, excuse me, he had a beautiful family. He had uh, a best friend. He had a wife, and his family contained a wife and two children, one girl, one boy. He had this best friend that was very depressed. He was very, a spirit of heaviness was upon him because he never was able to get right from him losing his fiance. He was supposed to get married, and it was like a, a accident assignment cast on him. And she got into an accident, and she died, right? And so he always was walking around like needing this his best friend, this man he called his best friend from high school. He was always needing him. He was um very emotional. He was a um very sensitive man. So long story short. <laughs> The main character who the movie is about, he ended up having chest pains. And, and, and um, yeah, I just say chest pains because when you have a heart attack, you die or it's like near death. So I don't want to say it was that bad, but it was chest pains. Like it was very bad chest pains. And he went to this doctor that was famous but it was a fake doctor and it told him and the doctor told him he could have ebola all kind of stuff <laughs> oh lord it told that man he could have had so many infections and diseases right and so the man got scared and so he made a vow to the lord he turned his life around to live as if he really was trying to get into heaven right and so when he found out he wasn't going to die anymore okay when he did do that it put his business in jeopardy I'm, I'm gonna go back a little bit when the main character did find out he was gonna die he started overdoing good deeds stuff he wasn't supposed to be doing he started doing um he was okay i'm sorry he was um an insurance policy holder i don't know if that's the correct term for that for those uh for that career but he was over insurance policies for um for cars um in case something happened and all of that so anyway he started over giving out money and i got chills and this man came in and the man came in he had this was his customer for years and the man set him up the man set him up the man set him up he came in there and he was like oh can you just give me an extra i think he needed like an extra 10 grand like for all the updates he had just did on his car it was like a it was a whole setup 
So he ended up approving this man for like $17,000. $17,000. And the man burnt up the car and tried to sue him and, and trying to and trying to get all this extra money. Like it was a whole set up, right? And so that's bird. And so he ended up uh getting stressed out by that that one situation caused him to come out of the resting place that he was in with the lord because he had really if you think about it he entered a resting place of where nothing else mattered but pleasing the lord and then and then and that one and that calamity here come the devil here come the devil man as soon as the lord put you somewhere here come the devil trying to mess it up so you can't enjoy it this man so anyway long story short he he um he took it out on his best friend that he had right i'm gonna fast forward a lot of stuff he took it out on him his best friend was really having a day. He had finally got a job to, to, to turn his attention on to something other than him losing his um, soon-to-be wife. And um, he lost that job. So he wanted to go talk to his friend about it. And because he was because of the main character being stressed out about getting sued and being reported to the Better Business Bureau and all of that, he told his best friend he should just get over him losing his wife. And that really broke his best friend's heart to the point to where this man died. So two things from this one particular situation. Be careful. You don't know how people feel when they come up to you. Okay? It's Shabbat. If somebody, somebody, if somebody, I just had a neighbor do that to me yesterday, but I felt weird. So I kind of like dismissed him because it was a drunken spirit in him. So I was like, get out of here. I'm about to do a whole, <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, so his best friend died. And the point is, you don't know if somebody said they having a bad day or if they say, um, if they say, you know, they need to talk to you. Sometimes that's why you're still down here on this earth. It's so you can be a, 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 um, a shoulder to lean on to God's people. We are vessels. We are holy temples of the Lord. We are supposed to be used. Hallelujah. Sometimes these people be drunk. Sometimes, like yesterday I had a drunk neighbor. And he told me he had a bad day. I got two stories to tell y'all, but not really. I'm gonna tell y'all the second one yet. But anyway, <laughs> sorry, Holy Spirit. So the neighbor was just like, I had a, a bad day. I was mad at you because I couldn't see your smile, the sexy smile. First of all, I knew it was a perverse spirit when he said sexy. The Holy Spirit don't talk like that. The Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. So I was dismissing him. I was like, good night, good night, okay. Like the I like when he's when the Holy Spirit do give me revelation through this person, I know when it's the Lord. My sheep know my voice. Any perverse drinking spirit, I'm dismissing you right away. You're not gonna get no nice person. Get away from me. So anyway, that's not what the Lord talking about. But when you actually have somebody in need with a broken heart, a contrite spirit, thank you, Holy Spirit. You are supposed to be that person to just listen. Just listen. Just listen to them. Because he lost his best friend because of that. I mean, that man died because of a broken heart. They, the doctors couldn't even tell you why the man died. It was because they said they think it was because of his heart. But so anyway, it led him to go back to the Lord because in the midst of all that the, the main character was going through, he forgot his vows that he made to God. And that's pretty important. You have to remember no Noesh, Shabba. No matter how hard things get, no matter what you start going through, you got to remember what you promised God, Kenithia. <laughs> That's for me. You got to, this part for you now, you got to remember what you promised God. All that you promised him. 
and you got I, 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 um, I don't know for a while maybe a few months ago the Lord had me the Lord had me putting out um, a video or two videos consecutively saying, remember what you promised me. Remember your vows to me. Remember what you told me you was going to do even before I bless you and even after I bless you. The Lord really wants us to remember him. Okay. Long story short, the Lord made it right for this main character. He found out he wasn't dying. He found out um, that he was going to keep his job, his career, and what he wasn't going to get affected. But he lost the best friend. And so, you got to trust the Lord God. You have to trust him and know that he's going to make everything right. He's going to make everything good. Even if all you can see is mess. I mean, all he saw was mess. First, he found out he was about to die. Then this man set him up. Now he losing his best ass, Shaba. Now he losing his best friend. It was just one fish, Shaba. It was one thing after the next. But if you trust God, he'll show you. He could bring you out of that and much more. Okay? Mm. Trust the Lord even when you can't see what he's doing for you. Okay? In Jesus' name, Shalom.